Hello and welcome to Board Game Bonkers, I'm Jay Sears and I just want to give you a channel update and also explain how this channel started and I just want to say a big thank you to all those who have subscribed to the channel, it really is a, a big thank you to you all because it helps the channel grow and also helps others discover it as well, especially when you're liking and commenting on the videos, so a big thank you for that. And I felt it was a good idea because we've got a lot of new people subscribing just to explain um, what this how this channel started. And also I'm going to explain some changes I'm going to make, which are good positive changes, and let you know the kind of structure so that it helps knowing when videos come out, what types of videos are coming out in the future. So I just want to start by explaining how this channel started. And it was based on a couple of foundation reasons why I started the channel. And the first being, now I started... Um, this channel based on having wanting different content out there and I felt that after watching a lot of videos and I watched a lot binge watched a lot of yeah, board game YouTube videos and what I felt was it got a bit stale after a while it's the same types of videos being released you know the same top tens and it was kind of the same board games in the top tens and the same video for this and it got a little bit stale after a while. You kind of get in that rut where I'm sick and tired of seeing, you know, not only the same people, but the same types of videos. Now, don't get, you know, don't get me wrong. There's some great content creators out there that I really enjoy. And there were some kind of relatively unknown content creators I enjoy as well, watching. And I feel that sometimes you don't get enough traction or love for, for what they do. So one of the reasons for starting the channel was to give some more varied content that was slightly different. And I hope I, I'm achieving that. So we've got the bunker shorts a little bit different. Uh, we've got the free links review, which that's going to be a big change coming up. I'm going to explain that in just a moment. So that's a little bit different than what's already out there. And I'm sure reviews are, there's only so many ways you can do a review. So they might feel quite similar to one another. And I quite like the format that we use. It's very similar to it. It's always identical to what the dice I would do. And um, there's only so many ways you can do that. And there wasn't really a way to do it differently. So um, that, that may feel a little bit samey. But what I didn't want to do was just review current board games because that's what all the channels seem to do. And I'm sure a lot of people want to know the current trends and the current board games coming out. But there's lots of channels that do that. And I didn't want to focus just on that. I wanted to just review games that I enjoyed and I've played in the past, whether that's two years old or it's a current board game or it's a, a, just a newly released uh, crowdfunding game. I don't want to be stuck in just focusing on one. I just want to review what I feel I want to review and what I enjoy. And I hope that you enjoy watching them as well. So I don't want to be stuck in that rut and just reviewing new releases because that seems to be the trend of what maj the majority of content creators do. And I'm not knocking on that's perfectly fine. I just don't want to be stuck in one element. So the other reason for starting the channel was there was a lack of diversity. I felt that the I would put, put my neck out and argue around 90% um, come from America. And within that 90%, probably got about 15 from Canada that are content creators. Now, sure, you've got a, f a few from the UK and not too many. I can only call around eight that I've seen on YouTube. You've got, you know, you've got one main one from New Zealand, uh, a couple from Australia, but it seems to be dominated by those based in America. And I want to bring some diversity to that. How many Scottish content creators do you see releasing board game content? I can only think of two. I've only ever seen two. So to me, there's enough diversity. Another question is how many black or other minority groups do you see doing board game content? Very few. So I felt it was important to bring some diversity to the table, have a different voice. And sometimes it's nice to listen to a different accent. And that's if you can understand me. I do try and speak clearly so that I don't confuse the audience wondering how, what on earth are you saying? I need to get these Klingon subtitles up. So I want some diversity and I also want some difference in the content that was being released. And that's the two reasons why. And the third reason is I just want a bit of fun. Something to do is creative. I enjoy being in front of the camera. I'm comfortable in front of the camera. I hope you can see that and I enjoy it. So those are the reasons why I don't get bogged down by numbers and having the, you know, 100,000 views or 100,000 subscribers, sure, that helps the channel grow. It helps others discover the content that's out there, and that's a huge help. But I don't get bogged down by the numbers. Don't chase the numbers. I do this for fun. I enjoy it, and I want to share my love for board games with you. 
And the last reason was, I want to create a kind of sense of community with this. I didn't want to get bogged down by all the other elements from the board game industry. And I want to create a bit of love sharing in the board games I enjoy. And I want to hope that you enjoy watching them. And I want to create that community where you get involved. And I will get you involved as much as I can. You can see through some of the uh, content or release, there's ways you can get involved and have a bit of fun along the way. So that out of the way, and I've done a bit of rambling, let's move on to some of the changes and the format of the content that's going to be released by Board Game Bonkers. So let's start with the boring stuff, the unboxings. Okay, so at the moment, you do a little bit boring unboxing. Now, I'm going to be looking down on my computer screen. As you can see, I've got the laptop here. So I do apologize. I'm not looking directly at the camera. My memory isn't that great. It might be good. It's not that great. So the little bit boring unboxing we do, now we release that every week. And I understand that that's a little bit boring. Of course it is. But some people enjoy looking at the content in the box. I enjoyed that. I always wanted to see what was inside. Is it value for money? Um, before I go ahead and, and purchase that game, obviously I'll look at some reviews as well. Now we're going to change that from weekly to every two weeks. We'll keep the same format. There won't be a change in that. And what we'll be bringing in is called an extreme unboxing, which will be monthly. And that is the games that come into board game bonkers that are delivered to us, we'll actually open those boxes with you in front of the camera. So the camera will be facing down into the box. We'll have a look what's inside. You'll be able to see what games will be coming up that we might potentially be reviewing in the future and what games will we uh, be looked at with the little bit boring unboxing videos. So it's kind of a bit of a link there. And we also want to get you involved. If there's any particular games you want us to unbox before others, you can let us know in the comments. And also, if there are any particular games you want us to review, you'll be able to let us know in the comments as well. So we want to get you involved in creating that sense of community. So let's move on to the, the other one, and that's Under the Meeple Light. So we started this before we kicked off the channel. And that was a way of introducing board game designers and uh, content creators to the board gaming community. And we wanted to do something different. We didn't want it to be a quiz. We didn't want it to be a kind of formal interview. We wanted it to be fun, relaxing, and formal. And we felt a fun way of doing that was to come up with these questions, and that was tough. So we've actually come up with uh, questions for two, two uh, series. And it was 120 questions for each of them, so it's quite tough. We then put 10 questions in a bowl, and we drew out 10 questions to a guest. It was a fun way of them um, being asked questions that were random, that were different. We had no idea which questions would be coming out. And it kind of puts them in a bit of a spot, and you get to see a more natural side to, to that person. And we obviously got a lot of uh, board game designers onto the show, so they're all being pre-recorded. They're ready. We just need to edit and actually get that content out for you. Now, I do appreciate the audio is not great from my side of things, and that's because I'm in a large room. It's quite echoey. I've got extended ceilings. It's really unusual for this type of property. Um, so we will be improving some of the audio quality in the future. We'll update that and renew the microphones that we use because this isn't the best, but I'm in an echo room, so it doesn't help. We have got some editing software that we can use and put through a special filter program, but the quality isn't the best, and I do apologize for that, but the content is really good, and it's fantastic that interview, and the, those guests answering those random 10 questions. So we will get that content out soon. I will start editing very shortly, and so you'll see more of that in the future coming out. We've got two seasons. We've actually got enough ideas for another three seasons. So if you enjoy it, let us know in the comments down below if you enjoy those type of uh, type of content. Um, please comment in those videos and let us know and we will continue that and we will change it every season. That's what we want to do. There'll be slight changes. So season one is, uh, is different from season two. Season three will be different from season two. So it'll vary. The questions will be different. The style of the videos will be different as well. So do check that out when we start getting the videos. If you haven't seen the, the three, I think there's three up already. Please do have a look at our videos. So that is under the Meeple Lights, and we'll try and get that content out um, as quickly as we can. There's no particular time scale on it, and the frequency, we've got a lot to get out, but we'll start working on it. So the next thing I want to talk about, and that is the Bonkers Show. So that is monthly, and it'll stay monthly. And the Bonkers Show was just something that was a little bit different a little bit bonkers, and the idea was to start it off kind of quite quite low level and then build on it and then make it a little bit more crazy, a little bit more bonkers, a little bit different than what's out there, and that was a plan. So every quarter, every three months, we have 
What we're going to introduce is the EA Showdown. Now you're probably wondering, what is that? The EA Showdown, I'm not going to tell you what it is. If you subscribe, you'll be able to find out. So that'll be every three months. We still need to do the recordings for it. The first one will come out in October. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Now, the other um, regular every quarter, every few months, is Random Board Game Generator. We've already done one of them, which was in August, so you can check that out if you haven't already done so. And the next one released in November. So what you'll see is AI Showdown, then you'll see the uh, Random Board Game Generator, and that's as going on to Board Game Geek. I'm going to look at random board games that come up, and then what we're going to do and get you involved, you're going to try and guess what that game is, how it plays, what the mechanisms are used, and all we'll do is look at a very brief description, look at some pictures, and we're going to try and guess. So that's a little bit of fun, and we'll see how that goes, and we've got enough um, ideas and content to go with the bonkers show. So in between, so what lies in between that? Because they, those two, the I showdown and the random board game generator every three months. That means there's something else in the slot in between. And that is where these uh, various videos under the bonkers show that we will bring out. So let me just give you an example. So we did um, one called the uh, uh, Future of Board Games, which will come out in December. It's been recorded, so that'll come out in December. Uh, we're working on one called We Are Board Games. We'll look at We Are Board Games. We'll actually test some of them with the kids as well. You'll be able to see that. It's really fun. Um, and we took a, we, I wouldn't say we took a gamble such in some of the games. Some of them were obscene and obscure. So it's quite quite an amusing video. So check that out when it comes out. So we're in the process of editing that. And hopefully in the next uh, two to three weeks, we'll get that released for you. We've got some other ideas that will fit into the, the bonkers show and just give an idea how we're ramping this up to be a bit more extreme. So we're going to talk about maybe the most played modern board games, just a little bit of fun. This is not a board game. So we're... Um, you want to see that and uh, want to know what on earth is that? What does that mean? Uh, it's actually quite amusing. Uh, do subscribe to the channel. Um, and we're going to talk about are the top 100 board game uh, uh, games on um, board game geek overrated? So that will be interesting. Um, and then we're going to do one that's called Electrocute Versus Question. If you wonder what on earth that is, it's not pleasant for me. So um, it's something that in involved the children. So um, I definitely would recommend um, seeing that when it comes out, but that's something we do in the future. So we've got content for the Bonkers Show until, believe it or not, 2025. So I've come up with ideas and how to kind of gradually ramp it up and be a bit more crazy and bonkers. And it keeps it fresh and unique. What I don't want the channel to be is too stale. So that's a Bonkers Show. Now, don't worry, there's a lot of uh, information I'm giving you. We'll put it up on the screen. Um, everything at the end, so you'll be able to see when things are coming out, the frequency of it, so you'll be able to visually see that. So the next one is reviews. So we do reviews, which we'll continue to do weekly. We have a standard review, which is looking at one board game, and we have a free links board game review, looking at three different board games. We're going to keep the style of the our single reviews. That will stay, and we will um, bring that out. So it'll be the second and fourth week of the month, we'll do a standard review. And then in between that, Every third week of the month, we will bring out a free links review, and that's where the biggest change is. We're going to completely turn it on its head and do that differently. So instead of reviewing what we do, because it takes far too long, each individual board game, because that's free, takes a lot of work, and it takes a lot of time with the editing. Instead, we're not going to give the overview. And instead, we're going to give a very brief description, explain that in one or two minutes. We'll bring pictures up on the screen so you'll be able to see them. And then we're going to go into a discussion about the mechanisms, because the whole point of the Free Links Review is to look at the mechanisms and look at the differences between those three board games. And then we'll actually give a recommendation, our best pick. We won't rate them, we won't give them a final rating, and we will not give you the list of the positive and negatives that we normally do. It'll be a, an informal discussion and we'll get some pictures up on the screen and we'll have a bit of a conversation about how that game works in practice, how that mechanism works, it might be worker placement, the differences between the games, and then we'll give you our final recommendations. So that will be the third week of every month. And then every week, so sorry, the first week of every month will be a new feature and that'll be the classic review. So we'll look at board games at 10 years or older and we'll be reviewing them, a bit like our standard uh, single reviews, and we'll use exactly the same format. So we'll give an overview, we'll let you know about our, uh, what we like about it, what we don't like, so our positive negatives, and then give it a final score out of 10. So that will continue, but that'll be looking at classic board games that are 10 years or older. 
Now, I had to have a threshold. I had to stop, you know, start somewhere. And so 10 years seems a good point. You can argue whether it's 15 years or 20 years, it becomes a classic. So we'll, we'll stick with 10 years and then we'll review that. And we'll actually discuss at the end of that review whether it still stands strong today in the current market of board games. And the reason why we're doing that is because there are actually only a couple of channels that look at classic uh, board games and review them. And they're only every so often. So we want to do that as a regular monthly review feature. So the last thing um, that I want to talk about is um, our other videos. They don't really fit into any category. We put them in our playlist under other. So when you look at our channel, if you look at the playlist, the folder called other, this is where this these come in. So that's um, where we will have our other videos, which will be monthly. Okay, so I'll give you some examples. So we did UK online board game shops. I understand that's not for everyone. Uh, we did 10 ways to protect your board game collection that was just recently come out. And we've got a few others coming out, which I mean, actually got enough content until the end of uh, 2024. Uh, we've got 10 board game solutions coming out in the 2nd of October. We've got 10 board game accessories coming out in the 16th. Um, of October, so that's that's those are already set. Originally, we had this coming out every two weeks, and then we've got um, uh, the change over to monthly. So after the sixteenth of October, the, the other videos will come out every single month. And I'll give you an example of a few that come out monthly. Uh, unusual but practical board game accessories, ten frustrating board game rules. There's a lot we've got. I'm going to go through them all. I've got a lot of ideas, a lot of content that will be coming out. So I just need to record those and then do the editing to get them all ready. So we'll also introduce at Christmas time, Christmas themed uh, content and also Halloween, Halloween themed content as well. So that's to give you an idea on the content that's coming out. I'll bring it up on the screen now so you can see the different uh, times that those videos and content come out, what they are, so you've got a bit more of a visual representation because I waffled on a bit and gave you a lot of information. So I hope that's insightful and I hope you can see the couple of changes we're making, particularly with the free links review, introducing the classic review of board games, which I think uh, will go down well. I'm really excited to do that because I have quite a few classic board games I still love today and I still hold them high in regard. And we obviously made a few other little tweaks and changes just to the timeline of when things come out. And I hope that helps you just to understand the content that comes out when it comes out as well. So how does the future of board game bonkers look? Well, it's looking quite well. I'd like to thank everyone who subscribed. The more people know about this channel, so it's really helpful for you sharing videos as well. So I'm really grateful for that if you've done it already. If you haven't, it'd be much appreciated if you could share videos for others to have a look, perhaps you're on uh, Bo, uh, Bo Game Geek, perhaps you're on Discord. I'm not on Discord. Um, I try and stay away from social media. I'm only on a few different platforms. And it'd be great if you could just share these videos to let others know about them. It really is appreciated. So thank you for that. And thank you as well for commenting and liking videos as well. It really does help others to see the channel and see what's out there because it comes on their, um, their timeline on YouTube without likes and comments. Unfortunately, nobody sees the, um, the videos because they don't actually get recommended in the algorithm. So it's a big thank you for that. In the far away future, if it all goes well and we continue to get more subscribers, once I reach a thousand, if I ever reach a thousand, because that's a long way off, um, I will look to maybe do a Patreon. I've got lots of great ideas for that and I'll involve the kids as well, some crazy stuff going on. Uh, we actually tested a couple of things and we will do a Patreon. And the one thing I will promise is there will be a single tier. So it will uh, be the same. I'll be very transparent where that money goes. It will not go in my pocket. It all goes towards the channel. There'll be nothing whatsoever I take from it personally. I'll be very open and honest about that. And I'll be happy to share everything that's actually been spent, the, the money uh, from the patron, if we ever do that. So I will give more information should we ever increase the um, uh, subscribers that we've got, we want to try and reach a thousand before we even come up with planning it. Um, although we've got ideas, there's nothing really planned for it. it just, it's just something of interest we want to do and give a bit more um, in terms of the community when we get that sense of community and involvement from people who enjoy the content from the channel. So that's everything. I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope that's insightful. And I will start 
recording more videos to get content. There will be a bit of a gap while I prepare and plan. I have to plan these videos. There's a lot of preparation that goes into some of them. And I also need to record them and edit them as well, which takes a bit of time. So I do everything myself now. I don't outsource any of the tasks. It's all done by me. And it does take a bit of time. So there will be a bit of a delay between certain videos coming out. You will see that. I do apologize. What I want to try and do is prep and plan as many as I can and then start the recordings. I want to try and record as many as I can in one go. And then what I want to do is then spend a few weeks editing. So there will be a bit of a delay. And if you don't see any videos coming out for a few weeks, it's because I'm in the process of recording and editing videos. It's not that I'm ignoring you. Okay, but if I'm doing that, I will give you an update like this to let you know how I'm progressing with that and how some of these ideas are coming together. So a big thank you and thanks so much for watching this and a thanks for sticking with me as well through my blab blah, 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 blabbering. And if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to the channel and give the, the video a like as well if you appreciate this. Thanks so much again and until next time, take care.